Hi, I'm Rachel Katz, and I'm the product technician for basil at Johnny Selected Seeds. Um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Prospera varieties today. So this variety that I'm sitting next to right now is Prospera ILL2. Um, it is a really prolific, very, very productive variety um, in the Italian large leaf style. You can see it has really large leaves, serrated. Um, it's very similar to the variety Nufar that you may have grown. They come from the same breeder. And this is basically a downy mildew resistant version of Nufar. So similarly as productive, similar aroma. You know, it's a little bit spicier in that traditional Italian large leaf style. Um, not quite as sweet as the Genovese type, um, but very, very prolific and has excellent resistance to downy mildew. Right now we're sitting in front of Prospera CG1, and this is the original Prospera variety, the first release from the series, and it is your classic Genovese basil. It has a very elongated plant habit, these nice large cupped leaves, very glossy, with a nice traditional Genovese aroma. It's really great for bunching, and it's very similar to the basil Aroma 2. They're from the same plant breeder. Here we are sitting with Prospera Compact PL4, and this basil is totally amazing. It stays very compact. It has these thick, dark green, very large cupped leaves. The yields are really amazing for such a compact plant. It is great for tips, and it's also really excellent in four inch pots. It's slow bolting and it really holds this compact shape really lovely in the field and it has consistently shown really high levels of downy mildew resistance. It also has a very true to type Genovese basil aroma um, that makes it a real showstopper in any field or greenhouse. We're here in one of our basil trials. It's August 25th and we've had downy mildew pressure in this trial since August 11th. Um, you can see downy mildew has really affected some of the non-resistant susceptible varieties. This is a standard Genovese without downy mildew resistance and it's really um, pretty much defoliated at this point. In front of me here is the resistant variety, Prospera Compact. and. Um, so far, no signs of downy mildew, really healthy. And then behind me is uh, Prospera Italian large leaf. And again, no signs of downy mildew, very healthy plants. Um, we're at the, at the end of the season a little bit for these guys, but um, they're looking a little bit tired, but no downy mildew, uh, lots of fresh green leaves. It's been an absolute game changer for my customers. And that's the word that I hear used from California to Missouri, Oklahoma. It's just been absolutely a winner for everyone from hydroponic systems. I've got field growers that are doing it with great success. Um, this time last year, I had a grower in Iowa call me because he was in a bit of a panic. His entire greenhouse had been uh, basil downy mildew had set in. And he asked you know, if we had anything that would help. And I sent him samples of the Prospera. I sent him samples of some other uh, downy mildew resistant basils and the Prospera uh, compact, this one right here, is the one that he settled on and it's just been an absolute game changer for him and uh, yeah, I can't really say enough about the Prospera and, and what it's been doing for our customers. So every year on the research farm we look at over 50 varieties of basil. We're always trying to find improvements of disease resistance in addition to improvements in flavor and plant habit and leaf shape and all of the agronomic qualities that you look at. And flavor is super, super important as well as the disease resistance. You know, one isn't okay without the other. And the Prospera series has done an excellent job of melding those requirements, giving us both great tasting and great agronomic basils as well as the highest level of downy mildew resistance.